the husband of, of one of my PE teachers uh, was a first team player at London Welsh and he invited me to go up to up to the club as a as an 18 year old and then was a uh, a member of the first team squad for the for the remaining or for the next 13 years I stopped playing rugby um, back in uh, 1997 uh, which is when I moved from London up to the northwest um, I'd led a, a very fit and active life I'd done a, a couple of marathons and various uh, half marathons up in the, the great north run and so on um, and then I, I just gradually started to feel that I was uh, getting very short of breath. Eventually, I'd, uh, I just woke up and I, I just really couldn't get any breath. So I, I ended up calling 111 and, and um, my wife taking me up to, up to Blackpool Vic, um, where I was diagnosed with dilated cardiomyopathy and heart failure. Okay. I, was, uh, I was in hospital for just over 12 days. Uh, a couple of days after being discharged, I got a, a, a call from a, a research nurse asking if I would be interested in joining a, a trial. Um, initially, thoughts were quite negative, uh, and, and also those of my family. Uh, I called up a, a friend who was a, um, a cardioanesthetist at the hospital and actually found out that he'd actually pushed my name forward for, for this particular trial. When I was first uh, admitted to hospital, my ejection fraction was, was 18%, um, and basically sort of having seen the x-ray of my lungs, they were just sort of totally full of fluid from the heart failure. So the, the, the trial was a global trial to improve um, contractility of the heart um, and I think that the drug was called on the camative macabill essentially the the, the, the drug has, has gradually improved my ejection fraction and it went up to about 35 percent by November um, and the last um, call well the last check that I had it, it had gone up to about 48 percent I do feel a, a lot more confident in myself and, and, and I'm able to do far more from my own personal experience I'd certainly recommend that people uh, embark in the trials ultimately it's the only way that uh, that patient care is going to improve uh, and the, the attention to detail that I've had has been absolutely fantastic.